That's cool. I could kill you guys, though. You guys are fine. Oh, Parky My Man's up. Okay. Hoo -hoo. Hoo -hoo. Oh, boy. Run, 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 run. Oh, oh. Oh, Nelly. The shit I get myself involved with here. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Dig or Die. I'm your host, the Birdman, known as Falcon. If you're wondering why, welcome back. Well, we actually covered this game early last year, as a matter of fact, when it barely hit early access. If you're unfamiliar with Dig or Die, this is essentially a game that, as much as I hate doing this, it's very Terraria-like. It's not exactly Terraria, but it's basically the same type of concept. That's the easiest way to compare it to. However, in Terraria, it's mostly about, you know, questing, building a home, a little civilization, basically making that planet your home. In Dig or Die, you want to escape the planet, because every single night, you are attacked endlessly by whatever type of creature you have killed during the daytime. So, essentially, if you're not ready to fight a swarm, an endless swarm every single night of a certain type of creature, do not kill them until you're ready to actually fight them, because every single night, you will get invaded over and over and over until the sun rises one more time. So, without further ado, let's get into the game. You are a representative of Kraft & Company. You are selling automatic fabrication tools across the galaxy. Into the day you crash on a dangerous, wild planet. A lot of scrap metal broke off during the crash. Search the area for it. Your auto builder should be able to process scrap metal back into useful iron. So this guy, if you talk to him over and over, this guy. <laughs> he's a spaceship after all, but apparently he's got an AI on board. However, if you talk to him over and over, he'll give you information about what you should be doing. But I will take care of that for us over here. Right now, what I'm going to do is actually collect stuff as soon as possible. So... A rundown over here. We have ourselves a little bit of a mini gun, which apparently works as a way to kind of suck up different tools, different items, etc., etc., in the planet, which we're going to be using to build our little base here because our goal is indeed to escape, but before we can actually get ready to escape, we have to do a lot of building beforehand. Now, the moment I decide to kill this dogman, that means that right now at nighttime, we're going to be attacked by Dogman and the rest of his friends, so. You gotta be careful and sure when you're ready to actually fight these guys, because if you kill somebody too strong early on and you're not really ready for it, every single night you'll be attacked by them over and over and over, and that could sometimes be really problematic for you early on especially. So, right now what I want to do is actually gather a lot of trees, a bunch of wood essentially, because giggity giggity for one, but number two, I need to actually start building a temporary little place for us to call home until we could actually build the rocket to get on out of here. Now, you must die. Now, also, those bug dudes are actually very important to kill because they drop some energy crystals, which are actually used for turrets. And we're going to have to rely a lot on turrets in nighttime for defenses. Also, a bunch of scrap iron. The reason why I'm picking up the scrap iron is because you can turn it into iron ore. And as you can see right now, we also need a flashlight because it is very, very dark in this game without a flashlight. Uh, and right here in the bottom right corner, you can see the time of the day it is right now as well. So, we do have some time to kind of like gather items and stuff like that, but we don't want to spend too much time dilly-dallying around. Normally, when it comes to like farming these creatures for items that they drop, I like to wait till nighttime when they actually invade, because a lot of them will attack you over and over, so you and your turrets could do some pretty good work on them then. It's a really good way to farm items that you need from them. So, early on, I would say it's not really too important to go after them. Just wait for nighttime and hope that you and your turrets could do a really good job of about keeping them away. Now, Fishman doesn't really worry me too much because... Oh god, he's really fucking strong, actually. <laughs> okay, he worries me a little bit. Uh, I didn't kill him, so I shot him, but I didn't kill him, meaning he won't come after me at nighttime. Now, the thing is that unless you're underwater, Fishman shouldn't really be, be much of a problem for you because you are actually um, above ground. Although, I am planning on digging downwards for our base, because it's a lot easier to defend down than it is to kind of like build upwards. Because unlike, um, say, something like a Terraria or even a Minecraft, you can't build on top of items over and over. For instance, you cannot build, like, a, say, a... Let's say dirt, right? You can't build a dirt wall, like, a hundred feet upwards without any sort of um, actual foundation underneath it. This game is all about physics and foundation, so if you want to build stuff, you have to make sure you have the foundation to keep it upwards. So if you want to build a bridge, for instance, you can't just go ahead and build, like, blocks right across and be like, oh, it's a bridge. You actually have to have a foundation underneath it, otherwise it won't hold and it'll actually break. Let me show you a good example of that right now once we start building. Um, this is actually not too bad of an area to defend. I could actually just kind of put some wooden defenses around. I need this crystal, thank you. You know what, this is actually pretty good. Let me make sure that we can actually get the water out of here first. I might, I'll probably put some wood down here, too. But let's make some room so we can actually build some stuff in here. This will be a pretty decent area to defend. I could probably put some... Oop, it's too dark now. Let's see. Okay, good, good, good. 
It's gonna be a little bit too dark, unfortunately, for me, but I think we should be okay. Um, I need to make that light as soon as possible. Or the torch, really. Okay, so right now, I'm gonna build, like, right here. So you see the water's coming through because it's going through the dirt. That's the reason why we actually want to get some wooden blockings. I put my auto builder down, it is time for us to build. First and foremost, we'll make a couple of iron here because we're gonna need that for the turrets. And let's see, we'll also... Goddamn water! Stop it! Let's start making some wooden walls as well. And that should make more of them. Let's make a couple of the platforms as well. We're halfway through the day. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's also make an upgraded gun. The plasma shotgun should be pretty useful. It's gonna cost me five, but before I decide to make that... Um, oh boy. Let's make more of these, actually. Okay, so I want to have at least, like, maybe two turrets for the night. So, one, two... And for the gun... Oh god, I don't have enough now. Or do I? Oh, I do! Yeah! Alright, we got a uh, upgraded gun, too. So you come over here, and the old gun could just kind of go and hang out over here. Okay, great. So, we have a couple of turrets now, and we should have some wooden walls going forward. In terms of the torches, let's see here. Can't make it just yet. I think we have to upgrade our auto builder to make the torch, if I'm right. And that requires three energy crystals. That's not too easy, to, not too hard to get, actually. All we have to do is just kill a couple more of those um, dudes over there, which is fine. So, really quickly, let's start working on our foundation for the night. Let's see. Let me suck you down. <laughs> giggity, giggity. Um, put you up like that, put you up like that, okay. And then I want to also do the same for your brethren. And the reason why I'm trying to suck this down is because I don't want it flooding me at night like we just saw not too long ago. Come on. Now this I'm going to leave open because I want the water to kind of come through here and not get inside of our little small base here. So that should be fine like this, I think. Should be okay. Excuse me, my friend. I'm trying to build here at the moment. You're being quite rude about the entire thing, okay? It's almost night time. I need to get my defenses up. Stop being such a dick. Excellent. Now, it's going to be dark as hell. I realize that, but we can't build any lights as yet. So this is fine. Now, let's go ahead and put up one turret for the night. I'm going to stay, like, right up here. And then another one... Probably down here is pretty good. I don't think they're affected by the water. <laughs> you guys are going to be kind of wet there, but I apologize. Not much I could do about it, although I could kind of bring this down like so. Um, turret man, please don't kill the fishes yet. We're not ready for the fish, I don't think. Although, I can actually kind of kill the fish by draining the water and he'll drown. Or... Wait, is that how that works? He won't drown, right? Ooh-hoo! Now he won't drown, but... I guess he'll suffocate because the fish need water to breathe? If that makes any sense? Oh, another crystal, perfect. Alright, so I think this is basically fine here for tonight. It's not going to be the best defense, obviously, but it's something for now. Let me put down my auto builder here one more time and see if there's anything else we could build. I still need two more crystals before I could upgrade you. Um, we're very kind of simplistic in terms of what we have here. Let me just go and make two more of those, and that's all we can do. Blue flowers for some healing would be actually very ideal. I see some up there. Let me put my platform action through here. Okay, that way I can get up whenever I need to. And this will be a good way for us to make ourselves... Ho ho ho! Shock into the face! Make ourselves a couple of potions here for nighttime. And since it's almost nighttime, we're very close to our base, so I'll just basically retreat down there, and we should be fine, I hope. Oh, good, more scrap metal, very nice. Yo, you must die. Alright. Collect, collect, collect! I need a lot more trees, mind you, because right now what we've done is barely the tip of the iceberg. It'll be enough for the first night, but really not too far to get further into the game here. But what I want to do ultimately is just kind of surround myself with wood altogether. <laughs> uh, you know what? When you make too many wood jokes in the channel, it just becomes a running thing. And then every single time you say wood and you kind of have to use it for an example, it just comes out so wrong, like surrounding myself with wood. Oh, boy. Alright, so it's gonna be dark as hell, I apologize, but I can light it up a bit by shooting my- Oh! This is no good, I didn't even spot this, um, asshole back here. Dogman and his friends were back here, so they were actually doing a number on my wall. The jerk-offs. So, what I'm gonna do here momentarily, if I could see, hopefully. Do that, do that. Okay, I think. Is that good? No, it's still- There's a gap there. I think we blocked it. Alright, cool. So my turtle over here was doing pretty good work. Uh, the, the flies or the insect dudes are actually really useful because they actually help me see. 
as much of a dick they are, they actually help me see quite a bit because they light up at night, so they're very useful for me in the first night. But they're not dropping their goddamn crystals, which I do need right now for the upgrade. Drop the crystals! Drop the goddamn crystals, Bobby! Alright, we got one of them there. Do I have three of them, I wonder? Let's see, I'm going to my items. Uh, we have three! Perfect enough to get the upgrade. And then we could probably go ahead and start... Ooh, can't see. Can't see. After the upgrade, we should hopefully have enough to make this second level auto builder and then maybe even a torch. All I really need want is a torch right now so I can kind of see what I'm doing. Jump upwards. I can't see. Can't see. Dicks. Let me put a platform here. Am I on top? <laughs> it's so fucking dark. Let me see. All right, there we go. We haven't lost a turret just yet, either. Very nice. So we did place them in really ideal spaces. It's almost daytime, so let's just chill here momentarily. We're okay. Everything is fine. Please, daytime come. There it is. Alrighty. Now we come over here. Put the auto builder back down. And let's see. I just want to upgrade you, my friend. So, here we go. Level 2. And there's my... Where's a couple of lights? What I'm looking for is... Where is it at? There it is. We need... Oh, more iron. Oh, you mother fricker, you. All right, I'm going to leave the level 2 one over here, and I'm going to take the level 1 with me. All right, so luckily our defense has held up pretty well. It wasn't exactly the best of the defense out there, but it held up enough. My turrets were actually placed in ideal spots where they complemented each other. Top side, bottom side, so on and so forth. Nice, there we go. So right now, I do believe you survived the night. Well done. Well, thank you. No help to you, though, huh? No thanks to you. Um, I guess the next thing we have to do as well is also melt, make those health potions, although we did pretty good in terms of keeping ourselves out of danger. But I do have to make a couple of them pretty soon. But right now, I really want to find more scrap metal. There it is. You see that dog? That dog attacked that tree right now, too. Dog, what do you have against that tree? What did it do to you? The further to the left you go, the stronger enemies get. The further down below, the stronger they get. So, going too far to the left is not really too much of a good idea early on. However, you're going to eventually want to go either all the way to the left or to the right because you'll only find specific items that spawn in those areas, um, which are needed for further recipes down the line, right? So, eventually the game does force you to kind of leave your little comfy, humble abode. This right here, I would love to pick up, but we need to actually upgrade our little minigun. So, the next thing we have to do after the torch is maybe minigun now. Oh, I could actually upgrade my gun for o only two energy crystals. Let's do it. This way I'll be able to actually pick up the iron ore from the ground, which is great. So that's done. There's another upgraded to the weapon, which requires coal, which is going to be down below if I remember correctly. We could also make now support, and we could also make concrete walls, which is a lot better than our wooden walls. But I do have to go and collect some stone again, so there is that. There's also a next level to the turrets, which is going to be the Gatlin version. Really, really fast, but all they do is like shoot forward, if I remember correctly. And this bad boy over here repairs your turrets as well, so it's a good way to kind of keep it handy for really big assaults. It'll actually heal your other turrets when you're taking damage. And lights, which is actually very important. So, first and foremost, let's make a bit more iron here if we can. And we'll make a couple of lights, too. I don't want to use up all these because I need them for... What do I need them for? Oh the, oh, the torch! Yeah, make that now. The flashlight, I should say. Ha-ha! Alrighty, and this right here is quite possibly the most important thing you could get early. The flashlight. Very useful for spelunking and stuff like that, so that's good. It's the middle of the day. Oh! <laughs> I just love it when you just fall dead out of nowhere. You're wondering, like, what happened. It's like, oh, yeah, the turret killed him. Very good. Look, it happened again. Oh, crystal! Very nice. Uh, let me make a couple of these wooden platforms for the spelunking trip down below, so just make a couple of them. That's good. Place you right through here, I think. Could be a little bit dangerous because we now have a bigger opening for monsters to get in, but I think it's fine. And the future turret that we make will probably be placed in the platform so they have like more of a wall to get in through. Okay, so now we actually take ourselves a bit of a trip down below. Let's leave a couple of platforms so I know where I came from and I don't get lost. And here we need to collect some stone as well. Let's see if I could show you the turtle hedgehog dude I talked about here. But ideally what I want to do is actually just find a deposit of coal. Now, since we upgraded our dude, our little minigun, we actually can pick up dirt faster now, which is great. But everything else is going to be kind of slow. We also have to worry about drowning. Okay. Physics. Goddamn physics all the time. Mm, let's come through here. I really want to find a coal if I can. Come on. Come on. Pocket of water, please. Pocket of water. There we go. 
And that should be fine. All right. Let's keep going downwards. It's almost nighttime, but we should have enough time. Can I dig on through? Nope. Drown it. Drown it. Get some air. What I could do is actually plug up that hole so the water doesn't drop in. I should do that. It might, it might make my little travel downwards even easier. But normally you find coal like in the middle of a lot of like shit like this. Oh boy. Drowning, drowning, drowning. Come on. Oh my god! <laughs> you jerk! You see that guy? What's his problem? I'm busy over here trying to find some important stuff and this guy just drops out of the skies into the water. Oh boy. Well, that's one way to get that little well that we created there drained down. Very cool. All right, let's continue going downwards, though, with this goddamn coal. I gotta find it eventually. I'm really scared about getting stuck down here at nighttime, but it looks like it might wind up happening. Oh boy. Oh boy. No way for me to breathe down here. No way to breathe. No way to breathe. Okay. Oh boy. Fuck you, dog. Alrighty, well, we gotta find a better place for me to kill down without necessarily drowning. This seems pretty good. Of course, I have forgotten my entire way down here, so even... Oh, here's Turtle Man. He's very strong, as a matter of fact. I don't think it's better... It's actually, you know what? I'm not going to kill him just yet. I do want to get the upgrade for the equipment for less damage, but I don't want to deal with that guy at nighttime right now, early on. We still need a lot more turrets and a lot more better defenses before we do that. Oh, man. I don't think we have enough time to go all the way down and find some goddamn coal. Let's place you over here. Cole, come on, man. You're busting my balls. All right, let me do this again. I'm very lazy to go all the way around. Doggy man. Doggy man, you must die. Okay. Going downwards. All right, this right here should be coal country if I'm right. It's a matter of just finding it now, but this is the area you normally would find it at. Not sure what the hell that is. Oh, I can't even collect that one. You know what? I think we might have gone through even beyond coal country then. Because if I can't collect this, <laughs> we're obviously not ready for this area right now. Until we have the proper auto builder for the next upgrade. Okay, so you know what? I think I went too far down. And it's almost nighttime. What did I say I want to do? Oh, Jesus! That's Angry Dog! Yep! Oh, that's coal right there, though. Oh, we found it! But there's angry dudes here, like very strong guys! Oh, god, god. Okay, so here's what happened. We went too far down, and now we have to deal with the upgraded version of the dogs and also the porcupine dudes as well. But I found a little bit of coal. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it any better. And of course, I forgot to make health potions as well. Very good idea, Falcon. Very nice idea. No health potions in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Uh, platforms, please. I need you to save my life. Because it is nighttime pretty soon. I think at nighttime, the underground areas do stay lit up, so... You don't get lost too easily. Oh, then again, we have the spelunking light, so there is that. Okay, let's come through here. Fuck you, dog. Dog, get away. Get away. Fuck you. Okay, oh boy. God damn it. Okay, it's nighttime now. So, if you're wondering, oh, Falcon, don't want you worry. They'll attack your base, not you. No, no, no. They'll try to hunt you down wherever you're at. So, right now, I'm in a very tough spot because I'm, oh, as you can see right there, in an area with no defenses, and I really don't want to kill Porcupine Man right now. Porcupine Man, please, stop. Leave. Leave me be. Leave me be. I must drop. I must drop a fucking platform. Stop it. Okay, I think he fell. I think he fell. Oh. Okay, that's cool. I could kill you guys, though. You guys are fine. Oh, Parky, my man's up. Okay. Hoo hoo. Hoo hoo. Oh, boy. Run, 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 run. Oh, ho. Oh, Nelly. The shit I get myself involved with here. Stupid dog. Stupid dogs. Let me just jump on the platform. Oh. They try to push you off is the thing, too. They're very smart about that. It's kind of like, you know, they know you're trying to get away, so they're kind of like, no, no, no. That platform that you're on, you must get off of it now. Let's make this jump. Not quite. The music in the game, by the way, though, is really great. I'm going to make sure that I have the sound high enough so you can hear the music. It's so good. Oh, good. I knew this would eventually happen. <laughs> I knew this would eventually happen. I would get stuck somewhere. This is where I need that little mini-map to tell me where my goddamn base is at. Okay, <laughs> just keep digging this way. As long as I outdig them, I'll be fine. Dig or die, that's the name of the game, right? Okay. Oh god, not enough. Remember, Falcon, they fly so they can still catch up to you. <laughs> oh, good. Alrighty, reminder of myself. 
Never go all the way down here next time at night. I actually survived the entire night down underground. That's actually really quite impressive, I gotta say. <laughs> it's almost daytime already. We're saved! Oh boy. I can't believe we survived. Oh, look! I think I just found where my house should be, too. That's too hilarious now. Is this really where it's at? <laughs> it actually is. Oh my god. I made it back home by the time morning hit. Of course I would. Alrighty, guys. And that right there is Dig or Die. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like if you would like to see some more. That's kind of like the way I kind of make more content of a certain series. If I see a lot of people are leaving likes, let lets me know, hey, people are enjoying it. So make more of it going forward. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All the information will be down below. I will catch you next time.